TikTok is a bad math gold mine. Hmm. Let's take a look at what's going on. So we are trying to solve this equation, and the following is from the comment. So it looks like we just bring the x minus two to the other side. So we have x plus two times x minus two, and that is equal to zero. Then we multiply this out. We get the difference of two squares. So x squared minus two squared is equal to zero. Then we see two squared is equal to four. Then we bring this to the other side. We get the x squared is equal to four. And the common did remember when we square root both sides, we have to have the positive and also the negative. Great. So what's wrong with this? There are so many things that are wrong with this. Before I say anything else, I just want to talk about the answer right here. It's like you have to finish it, right? And as a calculus teacher, I think this all the time. That my calculus students they just write that say no. Three over six like this for the final answer. It's like no, don't do this. Write it as one half. I know there's nothing wrong with it, but reduce the fraction. But anyway, with that being said, though, right here square root of four. Please work that out as two, and right here x equals negative two. But this is not the main issue. The main issue is actually the first step. So I would like to just put a sad face right here. And because the first step is wrong, we don't have to look at anything else afterwards. Even though if you just look at this for the answer, right? This over here will collapse steps. But anyway, let's just talk about this. So when you bring this to the other side, you are not multiplying it. You are dividing. X plus two equals x minus two. If you bring this term to the other side, you will have to divide it by x minus two on both sides. So on the left hand side, you will get x plus two over x minus two, and on the right hand side, this and that will cancel, and you get one. So that will be the correct approach to do this. And what's next though? Well, we have an equation with fraction. So the next step is we will have to multiply the denominator on both sides. So x minus two times x minus two cancel cancel. So x plus two it's equal to x minus two. One times this doesn't matter. And then from okay, I'll stop. Of course, when you want to bring bring this to the other side, you divide and that's wrong with it. But it didn't do us any good. Because to continue, you will have to multiply this on both sides. So why bother to do that in the first place, right? So now let's talk about the correct way to solve this equation. So in order for us to solve this equation, we will have to collect all the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. So let's minus x on both sides. This is the correct way to bring just the x term to the other side. So you see, x minus x gives us zero. So we don't divide; we subtract here for this term, and then I will have to bring this number to the other side, and to do so, let's subtract two on both sides, because this way two minus two is equal to zero. Then to continue, x minus x is zero x; it's just zero, so we just have zero, and on the right hand side. Negative two minus two is negative four. So now, as you can see, we have zero is equal to negative four. Zero, of course, it's not equal to negative four. This statement here is false. Notice there's no more x. This right here is always false. So in fact, this equation has absolutely no solutions. So that's the answer for this question.